Welcome gamers to an exciting glimpse into the future of Baldur's Gate 3 and the renowned studio behind it. Join me as we delve into the latest developments, from the deep connections forged with companions to the thrilling possibilities of official mod support. But that's not all. We'll also uncover what lies ahead for Larian Studios beyond Baldur's Gate 3, exploring the intriguing hints dropped by Sven himself. So let's embark on this epic journey together. Many people have developed deep connections with the companions in Baldur's Gate 3. These characters are more than just pixels on a screen. They resonate with players on a personal level. It's astonishing to see the extent of this attachment. The collaborative effort of video game writers and voice actors has truly brought these characters to life. The recent news about no DLC or Baldur's Gate 4 has left many fans feeling disheartened. Saying goodbye to beloved companions is never easy, even for those who don't typically form strong bonds with video game characters. There's a sense of loss, a desire to see these characters again in the future. Fortunately, much of Baldur's Gate 3 has become part of the official D&D lore, thanks to Wizards of the Coast. While this may disappoint some fans, it also offers hope for the future. Wizards of the Coast now hold the reins of these characters, and their potential is undeniable. These companions could play significant roles in the upcoming D&D projects, drawing attention and interest from fans old and new. Sven's tweet reassures fans that these characters will be treated with respect they deserve. There's optimism that we haven't seen the last of them. Despite past disappointments, there's faith that Wizards of the Coast will recognize the importance of these companions to the community and ensure they receive the quality treatment they merit. Sven Winke recently hinted on Twitter that additional cinematics are on the horizon, particularly for endings that lean towards the darker side. While this news is exciting, it's important to manage expectations. These cinematics won't necessarily bring new content, but rather enhance the experience of certain endings, especially those aligned with evil choices. It's been a journey of continuous improvement for Baldur's Gate 3, with six significant patches already delivered, all offering substantial free updates. This pattern suggests that upcoming cinematics will likely accompany another patch, further enriching the game without any extra cost to players. The focus on expanding the evil playthrough experience is particularly noteworthy. Often overshadowed by its virtuous counterpart, the evil pass in Baldur's Gate 3 has been perceived as less fulfilling, lacking in content and excitement, and notably missing an epilogue. This discrepancy between good and evil roots is understandable from a development standpoint, as fewer players tend to explore the darker aspects of the gameplay. However, Larian Studios' commitment to enhancing the evil playthrough demonstrate their dedication to providing a comprehensive experience for all players, regardless of their moral inclinations. Despite the game's already stellar success, they continue to invest resources in refining every aspect of the gameplay, showcasing a commendable commitment to their community. This decision exemplifies Larian ethos of using their success to benefit their players, prioritizing consumer satisfaction over mere profitability. It's a testament to their integrity and a welcome gesture of appreciation to the loyal fanbase that has propelled Baldur's Gate 3 to its current acclaim. Looking ahead to the future of Baldur's Gate 3, it's essential to note that official mod support is still in the works, and recent information from Sven shed light on this excitement development. Larian Studios is collaborating with industry giants like Sony and Microsoft, as well as partners like Wizards of the Coast, to streamline the process of integrating cross-platform curated modes into the game. This initiative is significant, because it opens up the world of modes to console players, a community that has traditionally had limited access to user-generated content. While it's impossible to support every mode out there, Larian aims to accommodate a substantial selection, enhancing the gaming experience for players across all platforms. The prospect of mods adds a new dimension to Baldur's Gate 3, potentially prolonging its lifespan and keeping the game fresh and engaging for years to come. Just as Skyrim mods revitalized the game and extended its relevance for an extended period, the creativity and innovation of modders could have a similar impact on Baldur's Gate 3. However, it's crucial to recognize that Larian must work within the framework set by Wizards of the Coast for official mod support. This means that there may be some limitations on the types of mods that can be implemented. Nonetheless, the prospect of modding support represents a promising direction for the game's future, ensuring that Baldur's Gate 3 remains a vibrant and dynamic experience for players of all backgrounds and preferences. 
From the future of Baldur's Gate 3 to the future of Larian Studio, it's clear that Baldur's Gate 4 is not on the immediate horizon. While this news may disappoint some, it opens up the possibility for new and exciting projects from the studio. Despite not working on a D&D game at the moment, Larian's next endeavor promises to be different from their previous titles, yet somehow familiar. While it's not Divinity Original Sin 3 either, there's reassurance from past interviews that Larian's hasn't abandoned the Divinity franchise entirely. This leaves fans in a state of anticipation, eagerly awaiting details about the mysterious new project. The prospect of a fresh direction for Larian is both exhilarating and nerve-wracking. There's always a chance that their next game might not align with everyone's preferences. However, given Larian's commitment to quality, there's confidence that whatever they release will be met with enthusiasm. Regarding Baldur's Gate 4, Swan's comments suggest that the torch may be passed to another studio to continue the series. While there's no confirmation of a successor studio, the immense success of Baldur's Gate 3 ensures that whoever takes on the task will likely have significant resources at their disposal. This could lead to a high-budget production. Although success isn't guaranteed, and there may be challenges ahead, including the pressure to live up to the standards set by Baldur's Gate 3. Ultimately, the future holds both excitement and uncertainty for Larian Studios and the Baldur's Gate franchise. Fans can only wait with anticipation to see what comes next from the acclaimed developer, and who will carry the torch forward for the iconic series. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things gaming, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Which aspect of Baldur's Gate future are you most excited about? Until next time, may your roles be critical and your quests epic. Stay safe.